What is this, you might ask? This is One Dimensional Connect 4. That's right. This is based on an instructable, uh, a particular kind of board game you can play. Uh, it seems a little odd. Basically, it is um, a two-player game where you are trying to place four of your tokens next to each other. Uh, I'll get to that in a, <laughs> in a second in terms of the rules. Uh, but this is a little thing I made this week as an experiment, basically, in making something fun um, out of wood. It was pretty simple to put together, just a few cuts. Um, and there we go, and it was done. So this is a single board. Um, I think it is... Uh, I'm not sure what it is, the actual wood type. Anyway, it's a single board. Um, I then And I cut two pieces. And actually, let me pull these pieces out so you can see what's going on here. Um, all right. Some of them are a little tight. So there's a channel on the bottom. So this is uh, two boards cut the exact same shape, obviously. Then another board cut um, basically the same shape, but uh, not as tall, right? So it's the same thing. It's just in these, the same exact curve here. Uh, just the piece is not as tall. And uh, so I just cut those out of that piece of board um, using templates. Um, I just drew some on, on some paper some uh, some templates for that and then cut those out of the board. Uh, then I glued it together using wood glue, which is plenty strong for something like this. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so there are no screws in this at all. It's just that. And then the playing pieces are just pieces of a one inch dowel uh, cut into roughly uh, slightly less than three quarter inch um, uh, sizes. And this is a three quarter inch piece of wood. So they just fit, you know, right in there like that, and they can they can slide. Now, I'm not very good at cutting yet, so these pieces are not exactly even in shape or size. So I'm 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 getting there, right? It's but it's not quite what it should be. Um, so you could certainly spend some time getting those all exactly right, but I'm fine with that for now. Um, and so the pieces just, you know, fit in there. And then I, obviously, I took some uh, spare stain I had and stained this, uh, uh, the game board, and then stained five of the counters just with, you know, stain. Nothing crazy there. So again, the board is just, whoops, the board is just three pieces of wood glued together, and these are just dowel pieces, you know, put together. Now, I plan to put this up on my mantelpiece for at least a little while, and um, um, I wanted to explain the instructions for this, so I actually um, just laser uh, engraved the instructions into a little piece of wood, and then put that in a little uh, block. This is actually 3D printed uh, to have just the, the right, and you can see there how it fits in. Um, no, not quite. There we go, all the way in. There we are. Um, and obviously, you could just take a piece of wood and, and cut a a groove in it here. By the way, the way you do that is you take a circular saw and pretty much every circular saw you can um, lower the blade guard a bit or that, that shield thing on the bottom. Um, so it's just barely sticking out. Then you can also tilt the blade. So you tilt the blade, you know, like that and then make it so it only goes down that much. Then you can just run that along a, a board and you'd have that groove. Um, but 3D printing was just a little simpler for me. So how do you play the game? Well, you have your pieces in here, and because these aren't exactly, um, uh, some of them are a little too thick, uh, they don't actually all roll all the time. Otherwise, it, you would, it would be kind of neat seeing all of these rolling back and forth. And then we need a couple over here. Although it does have the advantage they don't then just slide right out, fall out, like that. There we go. So the rules are, there we go. Um, on your turn, you have to move three adjacent counters. So you have to grab three pieces and move them. Um, you cannot move them from the ends. So they have to be at least one counter uh, in. You take, them, uh, you take three counters and move them to one end or the other. So I could take these three and put them like this. Uh, you must include at least one of your piece, dark or light, in those three, um, and that's basically it. And your goal is to get four in a row of your own color. So I might move if I want. If I'm trying to get um, 
you know, uh, the light ones together, I might then do this. So now I have those, right? Um, but then as, as dark, I could then grab some of those and move those over here. Oops. So, uh-oh, that didn't work out so well. Ah. Right, so now we're, uh, we have those two over there. So now as, as, uh, as light, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, that's tough. Um, but I could just, you know, yeah, so you get the idea. So we could just grab some from here, right? Trying to move things around. So that's the idea. You're moving uh, three at a time to the ends, and then you're looking for, and you're looking to get a total of four of your color together. So again, if, if I'm um, dark, I now have a bit of a problem. Um, but I could take maybe, eh, I don't know. I could take these and move them here. That puts those dark pieces together, right? Um, of course, now white's going to try to do something. See, now, uh, now um, dark's in trouble, though, because now is white. There we go. White has now won. So that's the idea of the game. And uh, so a fun little two-person game. Uh, not massively strategic, but just complex enough. Whoa, there goes a piece. To um, in, uh, inspire some strategy. So that's the game. Again, it's, it's the... the uh, the materials are quite straightforward. It's just three pieces of wood, two cut the exact same shape, and one cut the same shape, just more shallow, glued together, and then pieces of a dowel cut into pieces. Now, obviously, I also sanded this down, so I used uh, several grits of sandpaper to, to sand this to make it nice and smooth, and same thing with the pieces, so they're nice and, and easy to work with. Uh, you, know, you don't want uh, little slivers in your fingers as you're working with your, oh, your board game. Uh, so that is uh, One Dimensional Connect 4. I'll include a link to the Instructable down in the doobly-doo. And uh, thank you for watching. This is a very easy project for anyone uh, just trying to get into woodworking a little bit. And uh, you can have a fun, uh, a fun game to show off and play with your friends. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching. Until next time, make something.